Quickly before the video starts, I just want to show you guys my Instagram account because I will be uploading some videos to Instagram TV. So these are videos which I can't really put on YouTube. So if you're over on my Instagram account, whether on your phone or on your computer in the web browser, just click on IGTV right here and you can watch videos which I will upload. So as I said, this is stuff that will not be going on my YouTube channel, um, obviously for like reasons like that. So yeah, if you want to check out my Instagram, I'll leave it in the description, maybe in the comments as well, and you can always find it on my channel. Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to install and use the VitaBright plugin. So what this plugin does is basically changes your PS Vita screen. Um, you can change the minimum brightness and the maximum brightness. When I first looked at this, I thought it was kind of like pointless. I didn't really see use to it, but it's actually quite cool. So I don't know if you've ever seen those iPhone or Android apps that allow you to change your screen to prevent eye strain. So you can maybe like tint the color a bit or just make the screen a bit brighter or darker. Well, this is basically what it does. So if you're playing late at night, and this is probably just better for your eyes to be honest. So if you guys want to get this plugin, I would recommend using auto plugin because you can install it in literally two clicks. So if you guys do not have auto plugin, definitely get it. I will leave a link to it um, in the description of this video. You can watch my tutorial and learn how to install it quickly. But let's just go and start auto plugin right now. So when auto plugin loads up, we need to select the first one, plugins for PS Vita, just press on X, then go to install plugins, and we need to scroll all the way down because VitaBrite is actually at the very bottom of this page. So it should be somewhere on here. Here it is, um, where was it, VitaBrite, this one right here. So what we're going to do is use left and right to select your UXO or URO. This is wherever your tie folder is. So if you're not sure, you can install it on both because it's a really small program. So just press X. It's going to say please wait and it's now it's going to say VitaBrite has been installed. So once you have installed it, I installed mine on my URO. Um, what you want to do is just press circle to go back to the main menu, press circle again, scroll down and press X on exit. Now it's going to say your PS Vita will restart, press OK. This is fine, once it restarts we will need to launch Core again and then the plugin should be working. Okay, so let's just go and launch up Hencore now and let's see um, if we can get this thing working. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, to access your PS Vita's brightness settings quickly, just hold the PlayStation logo button right here, and then it will just come up with this menu. So before, it was on maximum brightness. As you can see, it's down a bit because it has increased. So if I turn this up right now, you're going to see that the brightness goes really, really bright. This is really bright right now. It's almost a slightly like yellowish color. So let's just hold it. And now I don't know what this does to your screen. So maybe don't have it on here for too long, um, but it should be okay. So we can actually move it a bit. Um, you can actually change the colors, so now it's kind of like a purple kind of tint. And you can actually edit the hex code colors, I will show you how to do that in a minute. But if we turn this thing all the way down, you can see it getting a lot darker. We can actually kind of put this like green tint on. Now this one I actually quite like. Um, if you're playing at night, maybe like a horror game or something, this might be really cool. There's also one more, which is by default, and that is kind of like this yellowish one right here. So again, this one is probably good for your eyes, so yeah, it's going to like cause less eye strain if you're playing at night with this kind of thing on. So let's just put it back to normal right now, because you will need to open up VitaShell if you wish to change some more settings on this. So let's just go open up VitaShell right now, just click on start. We need to find our tie folder, so go to the URO, press X or UXO, wherever your tie folder where config file is, then go into the tie folder here. And this is the file we need to edit, VitaBright underscore LUT underscore um, original. So just press X to open up this. And you can see there are tons and tons of kind of like hex codes in here. These are all color hex codes. So you can change these and you can get different colors um, on your kind of like filters. So you can see there is loads on here. Um, obviously, um, I would probably get these off Google. Just type in color hex codes and you can find them. There isn't really anything I want to change on here. But um, yeah, you can pretty much just press X on one and then you can edit it and put in your own color. So yeah, it's actually quite cool. Originally, I thought this was kind of like, you know, basic, didn't really have a use. But no, it's actually quite cool, especially if you're playing at night. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.